Okay, so let's get into today's uh, three topics that I want to share with you. And I want to begin off with the first topic which you've seen I've entitled today, which is the importance of partnerships. I've been thinking a lot about this topic of partnerships, um, and I think part of it has been the fact that we've coming up to, obviously, today's Valentine's Day. Um, and one of the things that I've come to realise is that a lot of people don't really understand the significance of partnerships. And I'm not just talking about partnerships in terms of relationships. I'm talking about partnerships in all of these definitions. I'm talking about partnerships in terms of business. I'm talking about partnerships in terms of the community. I'm talking about partnerships in terms of friendships. I'm talking about partnerships and all of these expressions. And I think that many of us have lived up and have grown up in a world where today most of us don't really understand the power and the significance and the benefits of being in a partnership, right? I think we've grown up in a world where many of us, for example, let's just use relationships as an example, where many of us, we look at a partnership in terms of uh, a relationship as a negative thing. Many of you guys who are listening to me, you couldn't possibly want to get married because as far as you're concerned, the way you see it is, Getting married costs costs a lot of money. Why would you want to get married? It's really all about the parents and other people. But what I think many of you are forgetting are some of the benefits of get, of being married, of getting into a partnership. I think many people think and and have the philosophy that if I do something alone, then my chances of success are increased. I'm here to tell you that I found that that is not true. Actually, your chances of succeeding are increased when you bind into a partnership with somebody else. In fact, if you look at most of, if we look at the business world and we look at some of the most successful people, let's say the likes of um, somebody like uh, Usain Bolt, or we look at somebody like a brand like Nike, many of these different arenas and these different fields and these bodies and these different individuals, all of them, part of the reason that allowed them to be able to achieve the success that they managed in terms of the marketplace, in terms of business, in terms of their field or their domain of competence, is that they managed to establish significant partnerships with whether it be a coach, whether it be a mentor, whether it be a business partner, whether it be somebody who was a producer. You look at somebody like Beyonce. Beyonce did not get to where she got to because Beyonce did every single song by herself. Beyonce got to where she got to because she had to collaborate with different dancers. She had to get into partnership with different different producers and different artists. And that is what allowed her to be able to elevate herself to the level of success that she's managed to achieve. Um, and I just wanted to share with you and, and really get you to think about uh, about the fact that Perhaps the fact that you're not as successful as you can be isn't down to the fact that you're, you, you don't have the desire. It isn't down to the fact that you don't have the ability. It's just down to the fact that you just haven't partnered with the right people. Part of the reason why perhaps you want, you're not experiencing the joy and abundance and happiness that you can achieve in your life is because you're living your life alone. You know, I found in all of my years so far, God knows, 30 years on this planet, I haven't found one person who said that the reason why that they were happy and the reason why they've lived this incredible life was because they did it alone, was because they, 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 they struggled through and they were an individual and it was all about them and that is what has created this enormous success and this enormous abundance. I've spent a considerable amount of my time studying and looking at uh, exception speeches, speeches, speeches from people who are give, giving graduation speeches, Academy Award speeches, all over different arenas, whether it be in sports, whether it be in uh, people in gardening, whether it be dog shows, and the one consist and there are many consistent principles that are, 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 are evident as you follow as I study these different arenas but the first one that became very apparent to me as I started studying um, acceptance speeches 
is not a single person ever say that the reason why they were successful was because of them. In fact, the first thing that usually people said was, I want to thank my partner. I want to thank my coach. I want to thank my brother. I want to thank my sister. And so what I would share with you, and it's something that I've had to learn, is expand your definition of success in terms of if you are trying to do things by yourself, your chances of succeeding are dramatically decreased. You know, I was looking at some numbers, um, particularly around houses, because one of the things that I hear a lot from people is, well, Kasim, I can't afford to get a deposit for a house. I can't afford to be able to, to buy my own house. We, you know, rents are really high at the moment. Um, I can't, you know, the salaries aren't that great at the moment. And it's funny that many times whenever I hear that statement being said by somebody and I observe that person, that person is usually single. And when you start looking at partnerships, part of the reason, and, and as I say, a lot of people don't really understand the whole reason for marriage. One of the great benefits of marriage is that marriage is this, this incredible partnership where everything is almost doubled. So, for example, let's just take, if you're in a job at the moment and you are saving money to buy your first house and god forbid you're amazing and you're doing like incredibly and you're making every possible saving that you can and every single month you're saving about 500 pounds if you save about 500 pounds within a year you would have saved about 6000 pounds give or take right let's just round it up it's about 6000 pounds if you're doing it alone if you and your missus or if you and your other half, your mister, saved together and you came into a partnership together and you started saving, you would double. In other words, you could reach what would have taken you a year to achieve, you could do in half the time. And can you now start to understand why partnerships are so significant and allow people to achieve results that they just simply wouldn't be able to achieve? It's interesting that... Um, I looked at a lot of people, um, I studied a lot of millionaires actually, because I wanted to understand what does it take to become a millionaire. And it is very, very, very rare that I ever found anybody who was a multi-millionaire who was single. Of course, there are some people who become multi-millionaires and they are single. There's always an exception to every rule. But most of the time, whenever I studied somebody who either had multiple properties uh, in their assets, which if they sold them would be worth a million pounds. If I studied somebody who, if they sold their business, their business would be worth more than a million pounds or whatever arena that I looked at. In almost every single one of those cases, that person was either in a partnership, in a business, they were either in a partnership, in a relationship, there was always some kind of partnership. And I would share with you that you want to start to really look at how many partnerships that you have in your life. And I wasn't just thinking about it in terms of that, but one of the great things that partnerships allows you to do is that partnerships allows you to also raise your standards. When you are in a partnership, you raise your standards. You know, I've, there is a statement that I share with, particularly when I coach leaders. When I'm coaching leaders and, and I'm coaching somebody who wants to do incredible things, I mean, they want to live like a spectacular kind of life. They want to live, become an anomaly. They want to do things which are impossible. One of the things that I share with them is that uh, it's a philosophy that I live by, which is that people will do more for other people than they will ever do for themselves. And the reason why I share this with them is because I've found that particularly us men, us men will do very, 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 very little for ourselves. We could easily, if, if we didn't have a girlfriend or if we weren't in, didn't have to go to work, we could go eat weeks, months without having to have our hair cut. We would go months without having to clean our rooms. But it's funny because I have friends of mine who don't look after their health, who don't look after their uh, physical body, who don't look after their rooms, who absolutely live like shit. But the moment they're in a relationship or the moment one of the guys, their missus says that she's coming over, all of a sudden the guy changes his bed sheets, he cleans his room, he sorts out his hair. And it, it's just incredible what getting into that partnership, into that relationship, does for raising your standards. And, and, and this is, I think, 
to, to finish this off, because I'm about to overrun with time, what I would share with you is, it's really important, and, and I think it's part of wisdom, and really understanding and reaching the highest maturity levels that you can, that you have to understand that you cannot do things by yourself. You can certainly do them by yourself to begin off with, because sometimes there is nobody else for you to partner with, or you can't find a partner, but if you want to achieve great success. If you want to achieve great abundance, you're going to need to go into some kind of partnership, right? Life is so difficult and so hard that trying to do it by yourself is just hard. It is just really, really difficult. And I've just found that a lot of people are choosing to go through life and they're not becoming as successful as they can be. They're not achieving their capacity and their potential as they can be because they're trying to do everything by themselves. And as a result, they have no free time. They can't exercise their creativity. They can't exercise or manifest any of the different versions of who they're capable of becoming because they're so preoccupied with simply trying to survive. And, and what I would share with you is, you want to get away from trying to survive. You want to get away from security and you want to get to freedom. That's where there is creativity. That's where there is abundance. That's where you can begin to contribute, not only to yourself, but to your family, but to your community. And who knows, even one day, you may be able to contribute to the world. So that's what I would share with you and ask you to really, really think about in your life. Is there some partnerships that you can begin to collaborate and begin to join in that will allow you to take your success from a uh, 11 to a 12 to a 13?